very good morning my dear students today we are going to discuss about the self assembly of formation of nanoparticles how self assembly the phenomena of self assembly is used for the fabrication of nanoparticles actually what is self assembly and how this particular method can be used for uh, preparing nanoparticles self assembly is a phenomenon usually found in heteroepitaxy what is meant by heteroepitaxy if the substrate and the particles or films which are deposited over the substrate are of different material then we say it is a heteroepitaxy is it very similarly here in this case when the substrate and the particles then particles which are deposited over the substrate are of different material then this particular phenomena is taking place that is self assembly is taking place so in three dimensional ions are formed with regularity on a substrate as shown in the figure three dimensional ions are formed so three dimensional ions are formed means actually what does it mean so when self assembly is used for the development of uh, for the for the preparation of nanoparticles actually the materials which are actually formed in a regular manner upon the substrate just like a three dimensional island so that you will see actually that three dimensional island is shown here this so this is actually the self assembled uh, aluminium gallium arsenide islands upon indium gallium arsenide aluminium gallium arsenide upon indium gallium see here this is a three dimensional system see this one this one and this one so this islands which are formed upon the self assembly phenomena is actually a three dimensional formation of the islands formed here due to the phenomena of self assembly of the material okay now we will see one uh, the process one by one okay due to the free surface energy that is the free surface energy means that is between substrate vacuum substrate film and film vacuum so these are all the free surface energy between the substrate and vacuum substrate and film and film and vacuum due to this Free surface energies, two extremes can occur usually. What are those two extremes in which may occur due to the surface energy? Due to the free surface energy, regular layer on layer growth and cluster formation. Actually, two things can occur due to the surface free surface energy. And what is the surface energy here? The free surface energy are between. substrate and vacuum substrate and film and film and vacuum so this uh, surface energies that may create either regular layer on layer growth or a cluster formation that is the particles are regularly layer after layer it is grown due to the process of self assembly in the case of a large lattice mismatch the film follows a layer on layer growth but develops greater and greater pressure in the case of a large lattice mismatch the film follows a layer on layer growth but develops greater and greater pressure so what is meant by lattice mismatch so whenever there is a, a mismatch occurring on the lattice structure of a material so the lattice mismatch may may, or may occur in the on the, the lattice structure of the material in different ways so whenever such mismatch is there the film which creates over the surface may follow a layer on layer growth due to the process of self assembly and which may develop greater and greater pressure one of the, the other the if the layer is formed the pressure also the the greater pressure between them is also increased with sufficient film thickness the film will 
form three dimensional islands with sufficient film thickness when the film produced or the uh, the the islands which may develop over the surface of the material is due to the thickness of the film once it is sufficiently deposited upon the layer and this will actually form a three dimensional island actually when the film in the form of nanoparticle film actually which are all formed upon the surface actually that may cause to that may cause to deposit upon the material in the form of a three dimensional island that is it is called a three dimensional islands which are formed over the surface of the material and that is formed by the by the process of that particular layer after layer formation itself that is why it is called self assembly self assembly okay in the case of a island formation the atoms or molecules that are brought on the surface may do one of the following three things what are those things while the island formation is done by the material due to layer after layer growth or layer on layer growth the atoms or molecules that are brought on the surface of the material may do one or more of the three things what are those three, three things the small islands can continue to grow migrate to other positions or evaporate the small islands can continue to grow either the islands may grow over layer after layer layer on layer or it can migrate to other positions this particular islands can continue to grow or it can actually migrate to some other position or it may be evaporated sometimes there is a critical size at which they become stable and no longer experience evaporation takes place there is a critical size that is in a self assembled islands in a self assembled the so called islands formed on the surface of the material and this island has a critical size at which they become with stable so at a particular critical size the island formed upon the surface is stable and they no longer experience any kind of evaporation in the case of island formation the atoms or molecules that are brought on the surface may do one of the more, one or uh, uh, one of the three things what are those three things which may occur when the island formation is done in the case of island formation the atoms or molecules that which are, that are brought on the surface that is when the island is formed the atoms or molecules on the surface of the island which may have the three things like adsorbed and diffuse on the surface surface adsorb and diffuse adsorbtion get it clear adsorb and diffuse on the surface until they join or nucleate with another atom to form an ion either it may adsorb and diffuse on the surface until they join or nucleate with another atom to form an ion so this molecules which are developed upon the island formation or atoms which are uh, brought upon the island surface of the island formation which may be either adsorbed and diffused on the surface until they join or nucleate with another atom to form an island either it may be joined together to form another island or it may diffuse sometimes so these two things may happen then another thing is that they attach themselves to or aggregate into an existing island they attach themselves usually when it goes when it when it um, when it uh, uh, nucleate with another atom to form an island so when they do so they attach themselves or they aggregate aggregate they actually summed up into an existing island where actually this ions or molecules or atoms which may be aggregately made one over layer over layer that may happen in the existing island or there may have new island formed due to the nucleation of the this atoms with another atom to form another island so these two things may happen or which may adsorb thereby leave the surface so these are the three things 
which occur for the atom or molecules that brought to the surface of the island formation. So, when the island is formed, at the surface of the island formed, the atom or nucleus will always adjust to three things that is absorb and diffuse on the surface and they join and nucleate with another atom to form another island or they attach themselves and they attach themselves or they aggregate they actually summed up one over one layer over the other one like and that existing island will be getting more stronger or sometimes they may absorb thereby leave the surface sometimes they may leave the surface so these three things may occur when an atom or molecule reaches at the broad or they have brought down the surface of the island form due to self assembly. Okay. Now the small islands can continue to grow, migrate to other positions or evaporate. The small islands formed can either continue to grow or which can migrate to other positions and form an island there or it can evaporate. So island can self this self assembled island can continue to grow in one position or it can migrate to some other position and or it can evaporate. So these three things may happen. There is a critical size at which they become stable and no they no longer experience any evaporation that I have already told you. There is a critical site at which this particular uh, island will become stable. So, under that condition, it will no longer experience any kind of evaporation. The island will be formed as it is unstable. That will be existing as stable. That is why it is called self assembly. Okay. So, these are all the islands formed. See. So, th this is actually a Stransky Kusnow growth. Actually, this type of growth is called Stransky Kusnow growth. And this is a two dimensional epitaxial layer. Uh, epitaxial layer, two dimensional epitaxial layer. This is a roughened surface that is where this roughened surface that uh, roughening and the growth that is the growth surface actually over this substrate, over this material, substrate may be for material. This uh, material is actually grown. That is the form of particles. Okay. This is another type of material and another substrate where this is actually a three dimensional in which the growth is self assembled growth self assembly of the material which is three dimensional so this is a three dimensional island just like this so this is a three dimensional island of island formed by ar an arsenic gallium arsenide that is gallium arsenide with indium gallium arsenide okay so arsenic gallium arsenide actually that uh, uh, gallium arsenide island with ion Gallium that is indium gallium arsenide. Indium gallium arsenide. These two materials actually the uh, the, the self assembly of the materials which actually have uh, the surface and the self assembly form or the island form. The material is actually aluminium. That not aluminium. That is arsenic gallium arsenide. That is arsenic gallium arsenide. That is the that may be substrate material over which indium gallium arsenide is epitaxially grown. Indium gallium arsenide is epitaxially grown. So this is the self-assembled self-assembled growth or self-assembled phenomena which took place to grow the material surface with particles like this. This is a three-dimensional uh, cluster form. This is a cluster of three-dimensional um, self-assembled uh, formation of the Nano particle support the material. Okay, so this is what about this one. So now we will discuss about the thermal uh, uh, decomposition. We will this, uh, complete this particular session. Uh,